Hey Lego fans, we're here at Max Brick Studio and we have the Palace Cinema, a big one. And it has been expanded uh, two times, I guess. So I have uh, three of these and the first one I got uh, way back in the day uh, when it first came out, um, I picked up a second one. Uh, on Craigslist, uh, probably a year or two after that, uh, for 75 bucks, it was a pretty good uh, find. So I had I had that one for a while. I never combined them to one, but uh, I had two of them. And then recently, well, when I say recently, probably a year ago ish, uh, I had a third one given to me that was badly discolored. It did give me some extra parts. Uh, to get this back section here, around here, done. Because it's technically this is a it's a corner, so it would run from this section here and then this section here and not have this back corner. So uh, it just it gave me enough parts to do that. I think I have plenty left over. I think there's still some in the bag there in, in the storage bin. But uh, so this is we'll call this two sets. Uh, there's probably three, and then. We used a lot of, well, when I say a lot, a couple, but uh, 16 by 16 uh, plates that make it a little bit stronger of a build. The build is kept the same. Uh, I, I didn't really make any changes to it at all, uh, with the exception of these windows here. Drives me nuts that there's no trans clear panels for that oval style window, but I put something there to make it look like uh, there's a window there. So that's the only real change. Uh, the, of course, the sidewalk was brought out to go along with the, with the road plates there. Uh, but we just doubled the sections. So this section here, this one was added there. Uh, same thing on the other side. We just we doubled it, and uh, it turned out pretty nice. Uh, I did add uh, the expansion on the back here and gives it a lot better uh, theater feel on the interior. So we'll take a look at that interior. Uh, everything uh, stayed the same on the outside, but the interior is definitely different. So let's get uh, this top section off here and we'll take a look at it. So this is the second floor. And it has one theater room in it. I went back and forth on adding a second one, but kept it with the one. Uh, the original set was all open, just a theater, nothing else in it. And it was pretty bland. So we added a closed off room because when you're in a theater, you don't have light shining in from the outside. And that was on the research I did on the 50s style uh, cinemas, there is no windows going to the outside. So we, we changed that up. We just put some walls up, did a little hallway walking around, and we did some house lighting uh, up here. These are all, this is all the house lighting. And I, I wanted to put a stage up here. Uh, this, this picture that Lego did, it, they're on a stage, they're acting. And I don't know if they went back and forth with having a stage versus a projector, but the set originally has a projector. So we did a little room here for the projector. Uh, kept the same uh, design. I did put uh, a window there for, uh, I guess, the cinema worker to keep an eye on his, on his uh, movie there. And he can change the reels as it goes along. This is from this side. And we have our camera poking through there. Uh, but that's the room. We have one entrance on this side. Uh, to get into the cinema and then we have an entrance on this side uh, if you want to walk all the way around the hall uh, this down here we put a little restroom in and see if we can get that in there open it up a little bit just did uh, a medium blue floor uh, the we got a little lamp up above sink toilet and a little desk uh, if you want to throw some personal effects there if you know, you set your coat down, but 
Uh, I did put a coat rack over here on this other side. So if you're setting something down, just uh, get that little desk in there. But we do have a coat rack here, along with a place you can place your uh, umbrella. And just trying to think of some 50s things and just saw some pictures uh, from different cinemas back in the past. So that's kind of what we went with. And this floor I used three uh, different Harry Potter sets. Uh, they were all in clearance at Walmart, so we grabbed those. Uh, we had uh, two great hall sets and um, a clock tower and a lot of great parts uh, for a really good price. So can't beat that. Uh, we have a lot of those left over. They'll go into our sorting bins. But So this is the, the second floor. This is the theater part. And the first floor, uh, let's get this section off, and we'll take a look at that one. And here is the first floor, and you'll have uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of dark red tiling uh, to get this floor done. The base plate was red, and I went back and forth on leaving that, but the theme that I got going on with my city is the entire main floor of the city is going to be tiled. So this guy got tiled, and I just... I started on red and didn't like it, and I wanted a little bit more of a grandeur feeling, so I went with the dark red. Uh, we have our uh, oh hot dog section here. Uh, we get condiments for your your hot dog. We got um, our ketchups and mustards over there to the right. Uh, salt and butter for your popcorn. Uh, we have the popcorn machine there, and just different snacks you can get. I would put some candy uh, down here in the bottom. Uh, this, uh, I would have to look. I don't know if this was in the original set or not. Uh, I think I might have added it myself, but I can't remember. It, if it was, I it, we'll give credit to Lego for that one. But we just added some candy down in here. And we did uh, try to make some of the main things like M&Ms and Skittles and uh, Raisinets. And just you know, use your imagination there for what box candy you want to get. But... Uh, that's the, the snack area, and so you have your uh, fountain, and we just put some loose uh, one by one rounds in there, and then we have our ticket area. So when you come up outside, you want to buy your ticket outside. It'll be this here, and then on this side, where our workers would be, and the kids, they will throw every Disney princess in here and have. An entire ball and go up and watch a movie and it's pretty neat so they, they populate this pretty well with lots of guests we just kind of imagine this is real busy and uh, lots of lots of minifigures going in here they i don't think we've really thrown anything else in here besides disney princess um when i did this first floor it was probably uh man probably eight months ago 10 12 months ago and we had watched uh the movie the rocketeer and in that movie, the old one, uh, in the, I think it was set maybe in the 40s. Uh, so it was kind of around this time period of the 50s that we're going for. And he was going through a cinema style uh, restaurant, though. It was, it was a restaurant, but uh, one of the things he did was hide his rocket in the plants. So we did a little, kids got a kick out of it. They put a little rocket pack back here and hid it kind of as, as a... Uh, not to that movie. They really enjoyed uh, that Rocketeer movie. And uh, they they watched the cartoon on Disney. And it's it's not too bad. But um, that's our little Rocketeer nod there. But um, that is our uh, first floor. And it turned out uh, just about the way I wanted it. And I'll have to fix a couple things on here that I knocked off. But that's the fun of it. And a little... Uh, counter when you lift your counter up get back in for the uh, workers there but just a nice big old area and kept it all the same as we could we just added our own little interior and kind of made it more robust and but uh, turned out pretty good and I'll get these roof sections back on and I'll get it placed in a city where it technically goes I just I couldn't get to it, it sits over there in that little empty spot uh down there by the 
assembly square in that townhouse. So I'll set it there. We'll take a look at it uh, in its place. All right, there it is back in the city. And there's only uh, three tiles that keep that uh, attached to those road plates. I like to um, keep these where I can move them around pretty easily if I want to. Uh, I did try when I first tried picking this up. I was like, I'll just pick it up. The tile will pop right off. Nope, those tiles held on pretty good. And the whole, that, that first floor, the whole walls came right off the base. But luckily, it just went right back down. So uh, three tiles, pretty strong. Good work, Lego, for making good Legos. So uh, that's our Palace Cinema there in the city. And uh, it backs up to our park. And we have a couple of trash cans. Eventually, I would like to... Uh, add an exit uh, back here uh, and I want to do a scene for Batman uh, when uh, young Bruce Wayne comes out with his parents and there'll be a robber down here in the alley or something but uh, one day I'll get to that uh, but that's that's the plan uh, for that and that is our uh, palace cinema uh, thanks for watching this one and we'll have another one out here soon. See you guys later.